You're listening to Season 6 of the award-winning Home Ed Matters podcast, brought to you from the West Midlands in the UK. We're just a regular family of five on a home education journey, and we want to share our journey with you and encourage you on yours. So thanks for joining us, and here's this week's episode. Well, hi, everybody. Hi. Welcome to... Home Ed Matters. Season 6. Episode, I do not know. 16. 16, we wow. that. Um, my oh, name's yeah. Luke. My name's Eden. And uh, thanks so much for listening in. Yeah, Appreciate thanks. it very much. Um, well, the world has changed in the two weeks since yes. our last episode. Corona, corona, corona. Virus. Uh, COVID-19. No, COVID What's COVID-19? Is it 19 or 16? I don't know what's going on. I've got 16 on my brain. That's the, real, that's the actual name of the strain of the virus. Oh. I got confused. I've got 16 in my head because it's episode 16. Mm. But um, that means lots of activities Blow! have been cancelled. Our cat is coming over. Um, and recommend, there's, lots, there's lots of recommendations about self isolating. Yeah. Mirabelle, which we're not doing. Finish with that. Thank you. Mirabelle, you're supposed to have, be having quiet time. Off your, off your room, my love. Off your hot bell. Remember. Um, so, lots of things have been cancelled, haven't they? Including choir. Choir's been cancelled. Probably mm. your play. Probably postponed, not cancelled. Postponed. The East Stroke Strava Glander at church is probably going to be cancelled. Yeah, lots of things. So, lots of groups haven't come around. You had some, you're going to have Environment Club this week. Yeah. Eco Energy. Yeah. Which I think we talked about in the last episode. Yes, we were going to. But that didn't happen either. Yeah. So a bit disappointing. It's ruining my life. Mulan has been postponed. Mulan, the mm. new film from Disney, the live action postponed. remake. It was going to come out on the twenty March twenty seventh. Now it's gonna, not going to come out for ages. Also, the London Marathon's been postponed till October. No, that's really bad. If you've done all that training. Um, but the good thing is we've got lots of unequal. Well, like even if schools are shut, doesn't matter because we're used to learning from home, and we've got yeah. our land. That we have got lots to do on. Yes. So we have been doing lots of that, but. But. Uh, last weekend. Last weekend. We did a flying visit to. To. Um, Can you remember? Legoland. Legoland Windsor Hotel. Yeah. For Ash's birthday. Oh, good girl. Flight. Just for twenty four hours because the resort's not open yet. Yeah. Um, in fact, they might delay opening, might they? Because Universal's shut in. Disney's Disney. shut. Flo- the Disney's shut in Florida as well. We were there. Only a month ago, so just as well. I would actually cry if Disney shut. We were okay. Anyway, so sad. we did a recording when we were at Legoland. Oh, yeah, so we did. So here is that recording. Well. Well. Where are we? Um, by In Legoland. We're at the Lego Hotel, because Legoland's yeah. not quite open yet. It's um, open in all week. And why have we come here? Because um, uh, it's Asha's birthday. Yeah, so Asha chose... We always give you the option of having a... Some kind of birthday treat or a birthday party. Yeah. And Asha chose. Birthday treat, like he always does. So we've come, we had an overnight stay at the, stay at the Legoland Hotel in Windsor. Yes. This is the morning now. Yeah, unfortunately, the park is still shut, but that means it's a bit yeah. cheaper to stay. Um, but we are, where are we standing specifically? Um, by the Lego Building Competition winner. And what model has won the Lego Competition Building? A tree house. And who built the tree house? Me and you. Yeah, I know we did, yeah. yeah. And um, what did you win? Um, a little Lego classic thing. That's pretty good. Yeah. So we've had it's fun here, really haven't we? Cool. We really have. We've had, what, we're in a themed room. What type of themed room um, are we in? We've got uh, an adventure room. Which is like Indiana Jones theming. Yeah, Indiana Jones, it's, it is quite cool. Indiana Jones, Egyptian-y. And then there were various activities you could, could do last night. Yeah, like we, there was like a magic show and stuff. The magic show was qu- quite good. Yeah, and then um, there was disco. Yeah, there was disco. And there's really big, cool. they've got like a big Lego lounge where there's loads yeah. of places to play with bricks. It's really cool. And what, and a movie den? Movie Den. Oh, it's amazing. And they've got a swimming pool. What film were they playing in the movie Den? Lego Movie 2. Yeah, and we were swimming as well. Yeah. And then this morning we've had morning. a yummy breakfast. It in was the yummy. Bricks Cafe. Yep. Well, and we're just we're more like up. a restaurant than yeah. a cafe. Well, yeah, it's a restaurant. Buffet. And we're just packing up. Yeah. And then after an extra swim, we're going. We're going to head back because we need to check on our chicks. Yeah. Right then, should we head back up? Bye. Bye. Do you think Asher enjoyed it for his birthday? Yeah, still chuffed at one. Yeah, that was so good. Well, yes. We won. 
we won. It was a group effort. Yeah, it was a group effort, but I got the credit. You got the credit. <laughs> Thank you. Um, now, it's well and truly spring. Is it? And oh, yeah. Because it doesn't feel like spring, though. It's so cold. No, I think, well, from a meteorological perspective, it starts in March, but I think from a... Like a lunar perspective, it's like the 21st or something, isn't it? Which will, Or 20th, yeah. 21st. So, um, From my perspective, it starts about April or May. What what moon is it this month? Um, ma- well, I can't remember. Isn't it the worm moon? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it is. Because, um, je- because we're doing the moon names. We're remember, trying to remember, learn all the names of the moons. So yeah. it's the worm moon, which, make, which leads us on to, to Earth and planting our seeds. Oh, yeah, we did loads of planting. And we have planted loads of seeds. And in fact, um, we were just topping up some of the extra ones we'd planted yesterday. Yeah. So here is the clip of that. Right, what are we doing, Mirabelle? Um, we're doing planting. We're doing planting. And uh, you and I planted a load of stuff earlier yeah. in the week, didn't we, Belle? No, Maybe a week ago. Pumpkins. What are you planting right now, Eden? Pumpkin seeds. Yeah, these are Big Macs. Have you got... Is that all? Yeah. Did you do all. seven? No, we did four in that room, four in that room. Oh, great. Okay. So we've got radishes We're that are already planted. coming up. Yeah. Um, lettuce. And then we've got beans, cocoa beans. Hash. Hash. Which are like French beans. We've got I loads of pumpkins. Like Beetroot, <laughs> sunflower. Um, Mirabelle has planted some special magic beans, haven't you? Which we don't know. A few magic bean thing are. and some other things too. And then Asher, when we were, last time we were at the Eden Project, yeah. we bought some special seeds, didn't we? Yeah. For these, it's called the sensitive plant. Uh, I do so we're gonna, those. we're gonna. Well, Belle, you've planted. You've just helped me plant some of your ones. Eden's helped plant the pumpkins, and Ash is gonna help me plant the sensitive plant, aren't you? Yes. Yes. And why are we not? Doing it's a really nice plant. What happens when you touch the leaves, Ash? When we don't don't know. Do they this. fold up, don't they? We've done the beetroot, Mullet. Do they? Yeah, do you remember they're the ones all around the Eden that. project in the biomes? Oh, yeah. Um, now we've so we've converted. I say converted. We've put our tough spot out. Bye. Upstairs. Are you you're gonna come yeah. and plant in a sec, Ash? No, thank you. Okay. Um we've put our one of our tough spots out upstairs and then we've got all of our seed trays in it. Yeah. So it's gonna get lots of light. And um I think we'll grow lettuces and plant and the radishes indoors for a bit, do you think? Yeah, just let them sprout. Yeah. The idea with the lettuces is for the chickens a bit later. So when they're um, really big yeah. we can hang them. Yeah. Yeah, do we've got lots of beetroot um but seeds planted, Belle? Yeah, we've already planted those. I right, I need to more. write with a sharpie what we've just planted. <laughs> yeah, bye. Belle was helping too. <laughs> yeah. We planted the sensitive plant seeds, yeah, which we got from the cool. Eden project. So, um, we, you know, we set them soaking yesterday. Yeah. I actually forgot about them until today, but <laughs> I put them up. And, but some of the seeds are starting to come up. So it's yeah. only a couple of weeks ago, but the radishes are coming up, lettuces, the monastic cocoa beans are starting to come up. I think even yeah. some of the sunflowers that we planted. Oh, good, yeah. But fingers crossed for the lots of pumpkins. Yeah. We planted extra pumpkins. We even got, like, new seeds this year for pumpkins, didn't we? Yeah, we, we did. concerned that they might not come up. Yeah. We're going to so, be a very green pl- green family because we've got all these seeds which we're going to be eating and we ha- have the eggs from the chickens, which leaves well, us... Well, that, that is the idea of being quite self-sufficient. So, so if we're all put into insulation, we've got eggs. Yeah, we will do. Well, not yet. Um, but in future, we'll be more prepared. Um, we need to set up like a big ra- rhubarb patch. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've, we've got loads. All got our, some raspberries. our seed potatoes are chitting, aren't they? Mm-hmm. And we've got, we know where we're going to grow them. Yep. We're just having difficulty getting um, people to come and put in a new fence for us, which is a bit frustrating. Mm, it's annoying. Very busy. It's really annoying. So, um, it's and... Because those fences are being blown down. I know. And yesterday, when I was just doing some gentle de-weeding... Gentle. I found some raspberry canes yes so we should have some raspberries we would have been yeah. surprised if there weren't raspberries growing somewhere in the garden yeah because by all accounts the previous owner of the land way 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 back mr crisp did lots of growing mr crisp so i wonder if he was yummy yeah <laughs> was he like a crisp yeah. so that well, is, actually that wouldn't have been yummy to me since i don't like crisps that is a summary of some of the things um some of the recordings we had done chick, chick, chick. after the break We'll talk about chickens. our chickens, but not go too much because we last episode was lots about that, and then okay. some of the learning we've been doing. So, see yeah. you in a second. Yep, 
You are listening to the Home in Matters podcast. Right. Right. Briefly. La, 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 la. Well, maybe not briefly. Well, I, I always get... Well, okay. Chickens. Chickens. We were going to have three... This We've is already got three chickens. If already... you give a summary of what breeds we're going we're gonna to get up okay. to. Okay, we were going to have three, and then we were going to have five, and then we were going to have eight, and now we're going to have nine. And the reason is... Because we want loads of breeds. Well, we want lots of different colour eggs, don't yeah, we? Yeah, so we can sell them. Um, so what breeds have we got to already? We've got two Rocky um, Roads. Rocky Roads. Two Road Rocks. Yeah. Plymouth Rock and um, another one, which I can't remember. Right? Yeah, Road Red. Red yeah. Island Red. And then we've and got, got a speckled, speckled one. one. But what colour eggs do they lay? Um, brown. And they're really big now, so we've got like a nursery run outside yeah, for them while so we're. Cute. You, know, mummy, and I have been working on the um, the main run. Yeah. And we we've, we've just been meshing oh. it yesterday. Yeah. Um, we've got a bit more bit more mesh to do. Yeah. Put your claws in, play. Um, so those are the three we've got. But then, what other breeds do we want? Um, we want Silky. Okay. Buffalo Pinkton. Okay. What what colour eggs Uber. does Silky lay? Um, they don't lay many eggs. Okay, what colour eggs do the Buff Orpingtons lay? Brown, I think. Brown, okay. And then the cream leg bars, they either lay blue eggs or really, really rare, they lay So we're going to have two cream leg bars because it's better yeah. to get them in pairs. And we want chicks. And then... So we're going to have them as chicks. Yeah, and then what's the other one, a black? We're going to have a black something or other. Um, and then we also need... So they chick- lay really dark brown ones. Yeah, and if you know any breeds which lay white eggs, please tell us because we really need one. But yeah. we don't know any breeds. That well, I think Mummy wrote some up on the um, on the whiteboard in the kitchen. Yeah, no, she <coughs> wrote right, right, one up, but um, there wasn't any white. Oh, uh, okay. Well, we will. So we're we're getting there. So we're going to end up with a bit more. We know we've got enough space for nine. Yeah. And um, we've got enough space in the coop for nine as well. So yeah, that's well, the main. Technically, thing. we've got enough for ten. But so then the run isn't. We are in the process of fox proofing the run. So we're yes. putting all the wire mesh around it. We know we need to fox-proof it because... Last night we had a screeching. We regularly see the fox coming through our garden. Yeah, and last night... Well, last last night, there was like a... Was really noisy, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Like about and 7 o'clock. Yeah, and I opened my blinds and there was a fox. And it like patted something. It was attacking something. something, wasn't it? We think it might yeah. be a rat, killing a rat or something. And then it looked as though the rat nipped it and it ran away. Yeah, but well, I went so out as well. it beauty. What, the fox? Yeah, the fox. It was such a beauty. Well, they are beautiful things. So we're, there's it's, there's a possibility that there is a um, a fox's den. In the garden. In the garden, but we haven't finished clearing it. I, yeah. I don't, I'm not convinced there is, but mummy thinks it might be something under one of the sets of brambles. Yeah. But it you would be buried in the ground. think they're just coming through our garden? I think they're just coming through. Yeah. Mummy says she's going to leave the last bit of the garden to you. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm nearly better, which is good news. Yeah. So that's that's about, I think, everything we'll talk about about chickens. Oh, Dad, I could talk about chickens for ages. I know, but I don't think everyone wants to listen to dust about chickens all the time. But okay. if you're following us on Instagram, by the way, if you're listening, if you're a new listener, because we've had lots and lots of new followers on Instagram. Yeah, oh, Phil, um, you're on my pillow. Thank you very much. And, uh, thank you. Apologies for the chicken overload. <laughs> yeah, we are very chicken family. It's now, so addictive. I would highly recommend them. everybody was self-isolating because of the virus. Um, you went to a new group last week? Yeah, I did. What group was that? Um, it was a board games group. Okay, with some friends of ours. Yeah. What board games were being played? Um, well, there was loads of board games. We played like Snakes and Ladders and Castles of Calladale. Oh, we took that with us, didn't we? Yeah, and there were loads of other games. And then Mummy ordered us hot chocolates and I had the biggest. Really? I had a white hot chocolate lavish, which was so big and it had loads of cream on the top. Oh, wow. And it was only 40p more. And it came with little gingerbread bits and it was well, so yummy. does sound pretty good. That was probably think, my high of it. <laughs> I think board games are always better with hot chocolate. Or at least yeah. with hot drinks or a coffee. Always. Yeah. Um, we've been playing a few games at home, haven't we? We have, we have, we have. Belle keeps getting out Cauldron Candy Quest. Land. And Candyland. Um, me, Belle and Asher actually beat Cauldron Quest for the first time yesterday. <gasps> oh, yes. Um, and we we have been regularly playing our Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, we have. Card. And actually somebody very generously sent us most of the cards that we we were missing for our kind of playing set. Thank you if you're listening. Yeah, very grateful for that. Um, well, so what are some of the books we've been working through? So we finished in the evenings Sign of the Beaver recently. Yeah, Elizabeth we George did. Spear. Um, we did a blog about her books, her writing Yeah. Uh, the other month. Would highly recommend her. So we enjoyed Sign of the Beaver. Yeah. Uh, we won't give anything away, but I felt 
the end was a little bit bittersweet, do you think? Yeah, it was bittersweet. What, bittersweet. What, one of these are books exploring the tension between white settlers and the indigenous peoples in North America. Yeah. And we've just started a new book called... The Bronze Ladder. By, Please, can I by say, Malcolm Lyon. Please, can I say my new favourite word from it? Yeah, what's the name of the town in the bronze? So this is set in this is a Roman a Roman periodic book set in North yeah. Africa, I think. Um, what's the name of the town they're in? Faberbo Minus. Faberbo Minus. Yeah, it's so fun to say. It is quite fun to say. So we have Faberbo, Faberbo, Faberbo. We're not very far through. So it really ties in with um, the stuff we've been studying in our Cambridge Latin course. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the four, you know, the layout of, of Roman towns and visits to events and things like that. Yeah. So that's been quite good. So really good. Uh, we will let you we know how we get on with that. Um, yeah. Obviously, we've we'd had loads and loads of stuff from the book people because Thank they you, were book people. they were closing down. One of the series that you've been reading is Sir Claire's. Yeah. No, but also Poppy Love. Yeah. No. What's the one you're reading through at the moment? Oh, just William. <laughs> just William. So those are classic books, aren't they? Yeah, they're really funny. It's so funny because it's like when he's a new boot boy, it's like he, his father's like, oh, crumbs, it's William. And William's like, oh, crumbs, it's father. <laughs> and it's so funny. Because when's it set? Like early part of the 20th century? Yeah, about the same time as um, Charlie Chaplin. So, yeah, so kind of 1920s. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we Chaplin's watched so we watched funny. an extra Charlie Chaplin film this morning, didn't we? Oh, yeah. The Kid. <laughs> it was so it was funny. his first full length movie. Yeah, it was really good. Um, the little five year old was so cute. I know, yeah. It was a it was a really good film. Um and you all followed it through really well. Yeah. One of these silent movies. Ash didn't want to watch it, but he did in the end. He did he did enjoy it. Um Yeah. His favourite scene was where they got turned to angels. Yeah, that was, that was like a funny dream sequence. <laughs> yeah. Years before Disney made dream sequences famous in their uh you know, like uh, Dumbo. Dumbo. Snow White. Various other ones there for like weird dream sequences. Yeah. Uh yeah. One of the books we've been looking at in the week is um, West Midlands Folk Tales. Yeah, by it's Kath been very Edwards. good. So it's part of our, I guess, local heritage history. Um, yeah. Also, with the Wizards and Wands curriculum we're, we're following, it is sort of, you know, magical folk tales, but they're yeah. the local ones. So are any stories sticking out in your memory? Oh, yeah, and the first one. It's so funny. It's very short, but it's very short. So what's what's the gist of the story? So basically, um, they find these men from the mines, they find a kettle, right? And they're like, oh, who shall have it? And they say they're going to have a um, a, a tall tales competition. Yeah. Whoever tells the best gets the kettle. And so um, they're t- telling tales, and then this um, landlord comes along, and he's like, what are you doing? And they say what they're doing, and, and he say, oh, well, that's lying, and I can proudly say, I've never told a lie in my life. And and they're like, <laughs> and then they burst out, one giggles, and then they burst out laughing, and um, the man who's holding the kettle says, oh, sir, you better have it, that's the best of them all. The best tall tale. And what, yeah. was that a local tale? Which part? Where was that yeah. from? Did it say? Um, yeah, West Midlands, because it was the mines. Which mines? Like the coal mines around here? Yeah, coal mines. Yeah, okay. Well, that's interesting. They're so interesting. we're working our way through those. Yeah, they're very funny. Uh, we're still working our way through Twelfth Night with Shakespeare. Yeah. Um, now... Also, the last Blue Peter episode was so good. The Sports Relief episode is definitely worth a watch. Worth a watch, yeah. We're waiting you both in. I had I had a friend on it, it, and one of my friends was on it. That's pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah, her name's Izzy. So uh, you did a bit of a science experiment with some glasses of water yeah. yesterday as well. Or day I before. thought of it. Talk us through it. Um, so I was reading my Aquila, and um, it said. So Aquila's a science magazine that you've had got in the past. Well, it's sort of a time magazine, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's like. It um so Pythagoras thought that like the bigger thing was it made it so we put water in and like in the first one we put two hundred in then the second one we put one hundred mils of water in and then in the third one we put like um a third of that in okay so and you then, put it different amounts of water into a glass yeah basically halving it every to time see and what were you comparing. Um so like the different sounds it made when you tapped it with a spoon and it has okay. to be a glass cup. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you like tap it, and it makes like all the same sounds apart from the last one, which only has like a little, little bit in it. Um, and that one doesn't make much a sound. It's really, it sounds really horrible. Okay. Well, that's that's pretty interesting. 
And have you done any other science experiments in um, the last couple of weeks? Well, we're doing this bread one where we like write bread on a toilet seat, seat and the iPad and stuff. Yeah, so we're looking at germs. Yeah. So we've, you've wiped bread on various different things and then we've put them in sealed sandwich bags. Yeah, but they've not gone mouldy yet. No, yet. well, I think it's been quite cool, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and then, the last few days, you've all been making newspapers. We have. So what was your newspaper about? Um, loads of stuff, really. And then um, we're doing a quiz page in them. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. But, um, yeah, they were really good. And, um, like, we've got new v- news articles in it and stuff. So, yeah, that's recipes fun. and recipes. potions. Recipes, yeah, you all, you've all invested a lot of time into that. Yeah. Um, now... Some of the daily things that you regularly do, you, you've been doing Math Mammoth, haven't you, in the mornings? Uh, yeah. Which is your maths, but actually coming to the end of it, so we're going to get the next grade up for you. Yes, grade um, four. And we've actually upgraded to, I mean, I know many of you, uh, we use Twinkle for resources, we've actually upgraded to like the premium uh, subscription of that, so that we can get some of the secondary stuff, which means we've got more some kind of Shakespeare resources, because we didn't have access yeah. to those. Yeah, um, it is very good, so Twinkle. That, yeah, that's it. So we've And been, we made chatterboxes. Oh yeah, so we've um, we've just been we uh, we I suppose we periodically change the things we are subscribed to, but those two are yeah. good, really good resources that we've been using a lot of. Mm-hmm. And then um, we used we made the chatterboxes and we made our own, and it was really fun. Yeah, look up pictures on our Instagram account for those because it's all kind of yeah. origami. What was your the fortune teller chatterbox things? Um, well, I did a recycling one. Everyone did a recycling one, and then I made a Harry Potter one. Which Sounds was really like, good. who, how did Harry defeat Voldemort? When it was this? When do wizards come of age? Oh, that sounds good. I love Harry Potter. In tune, well, it's in tune with, that's why we're doing a Harry Potter themed curriculum this year. Yeah, we might have to do it again for Belle. But Belle says she hates Harry Potter. Well. Um, and it's not fair that when she's free, she gets to be exposed to it. Well, I have to wait till I was eight. all different, I know. Well then, um, I think that's kind of a pretty reasonable summary of lots of the things we've yes. been doing these last couple of weeks. Who knows what the next few weeks will hold? Yeah. I suspect more Insulation. time at home than, than everywhere else. The good news is we have got enough loo roll. Yeah. Um, the shops are running out of loo roll. Stock up quickly. Wow, and Cheerios and Weetabix. Yeah. Uh, Not any of my favourite cereals. Waffles, though. frozen chips, frozen waffles, frozen chips, frozen nuggets will all run out as well. Oh, we haven't got any more waffles. We've got some more, but that's why I didn't make you some for lunch, because we need to ration them a bit. Well, we have waffles every t- lunchtime. They're so You've been enjoying yummy. them a lot. Yes, they're definitely your favourite food of choice. Okay, yeah. well, I think... And ham wraps and marmite sandwiches. I think... And apples and on that On that food-related theme, yeah, I need to go and have some lunch. Um, thank you so much for listening in. Yeah, can I have a second lunch, please? No, not right now. <laughs> um, we will see you in the next few weeks. See you. As always, all the details for getting in touch are coming up. Yeah. And um, we love hearing from you, so do yeah, get in touch. Yeah, we do. Yeah. See you next time. See ya. Bye. Bye. You've been listening to the Home Ed Matters podcast. We love hearing from you, so email us to homeedmatters at gmail.com. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Home Ed Matters. And visit our website at www.homeedmatters.co.uk. If you're enjoying the show, please leave us a review wherever you listen, like Apple Podcasts, Stitcher or Spotify. Thanks for joining us and enjoy your home ed journey this week. They say absence makes the heart grow fond. Well, I've grown quite fond of you. Some people may think you're strange, but I think I'm strange too. It's raining outside, and it's raining inside too. I want to go home, a place where I'm known, and where I know you walk familiar streets.